Hey everybody and welcome back to Fallout 4. Now in this episode, let me get the map up, I'm going to be going to Oberland Station and then straight on to Diamond City. Uh, I should probably change my gun to something a bit more manageable. Uh, pipe pistol? Minigun, 10mm pistol probably is the... Yeah, 10mm pistol is probably the best. How much damage does that do? 18. 13. 8. 8! I would have thought the minigun does a bit more than that, but alright. 51. 10. 13. 16. For a baton. That's not better than anything else. Uh, laser musket. Alright. Okay, first order of business is finding my way out of this town. There is no, like, weight feature in this game, is there? Or is it just me? I'm almost sure there's no weight feature. Like, there used to be in previous Fallout games, but I'm just not sure about this one. That could come in handy, especially when nightfall comes. Because I absolutely hate travelling around in this game and night's fallen. I can go more of a straight line, can I? What's this? Light source up ahead? That can't be good sometimes. Most of the time. Uh, ooh. I'll take that, take that, take that, and take that. God, nope, I'm not fighting those things. Same way, if there are things in this bunker, I am definitely not fighting them either. An I bought. Yeah, am I the only guy who just, like, does this? I wonder. Just come here, just go it out, like, yeah. Until I hit the right one, randomly. Got it. I wonder what the iBot's doing. Okay, let's uh, carry on. Alright dogs, you stay over there, in your area. No, don't be a prick. Oh fine, fuck you. Nasty. 
Let my dog leave my dog alone. Headshot. Okay, I think I'm almost at Oberland Station now. I just have to cross a river, I think. And then I'm gonna have to work on actually, like, you know, <laughs> getting some proper clothing. Because I don't like this outfit. I don't like this outfit at all. Oh, that's a lot of fire. That's not good. Uh, let me check where I am. Ah, uh, it's just opposite. That's not good. Maybe. That, <laughs> that's not good, possibly. Okay, I'm relatively sure the fire doesn't belong to the mole rats. Ah, look, child of Adam. Radiation worshipping nut jabs. Pork and beans, I'll take some of the junk as well. Of course, yeah, it's radioactive around here, isn't it? Because why wouldn't it be? Um. So you sleep for about 13 hours. That way then, I won't have to travel in the dark. And I can actually see where I'm going, which is always nice. Where are you, boy? Look at that rads. I'll probably sell most of these, like Children of Atom outfits I'm getting. Automated message repeating. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Pharaoh 95. Our unit has sustained casualties and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Okay. Um, right. So, come across the Brother of Steel message. I'll get to Oberland, and then I'll... Uh, I don't know, where is Cambridge Police Station? Alright.
All right, yeah, I'm going to head over to Oberland and then cut down to Cambridge. At least then I got like a fast travel route as well, so I can go to Cambridge and then fast travel back here. Oh, look at this, yeah. The last, <laughs> the last good Fallout game. Because they haven't announced they're going to be making any others. And as far as I know, for the time being, they're still quite committed to trying to improve the uh, 76. Oh, wow. I need a stim pack. station. Usually, for some reason, I remember coming, I usually come across from, like, that direction. So no idea what I did this time exactly. You know what I call a good day? One that ends without what do you want? Stomach. We don't need any more trouble around here. Didn't you ask the Minutemen for help? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. Is there something you need my help with? Whew. Yeah. I'm damn glad you're here. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Will you be willing to join the Minutemen once I've dealt with those raiders? Well, we'll certainly give it a good long think. People have gotten used to not being able to count on you folks. That's not going to change overnight. Well, thanks. Don't mind if I nick some of your food. This will come in handy Far's for... Sanctuary Hills. Yeah, because it doesn't actually matter what you grow as long as you grow food, so you can just grow a bunch of, like, tato plants. Alright, where am I going? Uh, I'm right, gonna take him leave that on the back burner. I'm gonna backtrack over to, uh, the police station. And on the way there, I may as well listen to some beats, right? Hey. Go there.
Cambridge Polymer Labs. I wonder if we can explore some of these places. Come on, down here, boy. And he, he's gonna kill me and replace me and my family. Oh God, my kids! Don't you dare bring them up. He's the synth, and he wants to replace me. Please, what please, the hell? you gotta believe me. You can't let that thing do this. Are they like twins or something? Going on? Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's empty. Like, I literally have no idea what. Let's all just calm down. No one has to die. No, he wants me dead. He's never gonna stop. I have to kill. Don't listen to him. It'll say anything to convince you. Look, all I need is for you to put down the gun. Then we can talk this through. No, no, he'll kill us both. Why don't you just tell me how this happened? How this, uh, fine. I was on my way to Bunker Hill. I round a bend, and I see this guy, me, gun drawn, ready to fire. After that, it's a, it's a blur. We scuffle for a while, but I won. Now, I don't know what else I can say to convince you. He's the synth. Now, are you gonna get out of my way? Um, he does seem rather frantic. Uh, coin flip uh, moment. Um, all right, I'll take it down myself. You won't be doing anything if I take you down first. Oh, thank God! Damn it! I'll kill you both. You're dead. Ah. Uh, green, the jewel green. I mean, the green. The uh, great green jewel of the power. Diamond City Radio. Ah. Hey, why is he shooting me for? Ah shit, he's a synth, isn't he? Sorry, buddy. Alright, maybe I should have believed the other guy. Oh well, you live and learn, right? Alright, screw this fight, I know I can't win one. I know a fight I can't win when I see one, so... Oh, what the hell. Oh, right, yeah, I forget it's uh, being assaulted by ghouls, isn't it? Nice. I'm here, buddy. This is as close to a zombie game as Fallout can get. Time to swap guns and one of ammo. Uh, yeah, shotgun will do. Whoa. Alright. Take whatever I can from the bodies. There's usually some good stuff on there. Well, not good stuff, but there's usually some good ammo. 
That guy is still coming at me as well. What a dick. Hey, hey, hey. Looks like I'll never... Oh, he was a synth. There you go. What a... The other guy was right. Damn it. Well, screw you. That is interesting, though. I haven't... Uh, I nev I've never come across that scene before. That, like, area. God, that's a... Uh, interesting thought, though, isn't it? Going back to a game that's a good few years old and being like, well... There's still some new stuff in there. Alright, I'm going to turn the radio off now. <clears throat> we appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Before I answer, will you tell me who you are? In due time. If you want to remain in our compound, I suggest you answer my question first. I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I helped you fight those ferals. This would be much easier for both of us if you'd cooperate. Now. Where are you from? I'm from Vault 111. You're a Vault Dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. That all depends. How much are you paying? We need allies, bah. not opportunistic mercenaries. I have no inclination to pay for your services. You dick. Um, I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you, really? Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may. Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Uh, yeah, sure. Who are the Brotherhood of Steel? Our order seeks to understand the nature of technology, its power. It's meaning to us as humans, and we fight to secure that power from those who would abuse it. How did mankind abuse technology? Before the Great War, science and technology became more of a burden than a benefit. The atom bomb, bioengineered plagues, and FEV are clear examples of the horrors that technological advancement had wrought. We're here to make sure that never happens again. Your cause seems noble. I'm pleased that you agree. There are very few, outside the Brotherhood, who appreciate the gravity of the situation we're facing as a species. So, what do you say? Will you help us? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. I'll meet you there, though. I mean, I'm still... I don't know. Yeah. Take Reese inside and find his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. Hey, level up. 372. Like I'm just saying, you know, I'm just telling you. 
that putting those points into intelligence really does help. Uh, charisma. Okay, do I start another quest? Call to arms. Alright. I'm gonna spend the next few minutes heading to Diamond City, I think. Yeah, fast travel there, and then it's basically like a straight shot then to uh, Diamond City. Just checking that marker on the compass was uh, correct. Also, whilst I remember, I got, I got a chess piece. Alright, nothing really new. Which is a shame. But oh well. Pipe pistol might be a bit better. I do have an auto pistol somewhere. Oh, I did have an auto pistol. No idea what happened to that. Pipe auto pistol. There you Take everything we. All oh right, they're dead. Ah, if it helps. It's a feral ghoul, so I'll go around. No, someone's shooting somebody. <coughs> Mr. Donahue? What the? Fuck off. Alright, screw this.
God, I hope that dog's had the sense to run. Oh my God. Ah uh, yeah, there's way too many. Well, I got one of them. Great. So I've run away from ghouls and ran into super mutants. Uh, pipe pistol might be a bit better. Now, there you go. I think that's how you do it. That is how you do it. Yeah, yeah cool. No idea. Let's go. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boo. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> uh, clearly you can. You. You want into Diamond City, right? Uh, what? Who are you? Shh. Lay along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the Green Jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, <laughs> got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that Ooh, printer scrapped that a statement, for parts. Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? Do you support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. 
What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Uh... Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <coughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? What is this place, anyway? Why, this is the safest place in all the Commonwealth, with the strongest community and the highest standards of living available. We have stores, doctors, schools, power, running water, and the wall as our sacred protector. You'll learn more about the wall soon, I'm sure. But I was talking about you. Come on now, what brought you all the way out here? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Oh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have Damn time it. for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any kidnappings? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> Mmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Uh huh. Danny Sullivan? Okay, so let's enter Diamond City. The Science Center has been instrumental in helping maintain Diamond City's power, robotics, and agriculture. Ah. Level 7. Yeah. Got up like, what, two levels in this episode? That's pretty good going. Alright. And here I am, Diamond City. Finally got you. Now what's the next, uh... What is the next quest? Story of the century, go to Piper's office, steal the Commonwealth, find information about Sean. Right, so, in the next episode, I will be doing that one. Finding information about Sean. For now, though, that's pretty much it. If you've gotten this far in the episode, God bless you, thank you very much. It means a lot. If you could be so kind as to leave a like, uh, leave a comment down below, and possibly hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with the rest of this walkthrough. It would all be very much appreciated. For now though, that's pretty much it. So until next time, you take care.